Got a little project we're gonna get done on the Hellcat today. Here's a before here. Today we are going to be doing a mid muffler delete on the Hellcat. Guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So I took a poll on my Instagram and I kind of asked, do you guys want to see the cars in the trucks on this channel? Or do you guys want to see the cars on a separate channel? And 85% of people said they want to see the cars and the trucks on this channel. So I'm gonna to try to do that. Unless you guys change your mind, then I'll just put it on the separate channel. Anyways guys, we're on our way to get a mid muffler delete done on the Hellcat. A mid muffler delete is exactly what it sounds like. It's some mufflers between the engine and the exiting part of the exhaust basically. There's an in-between area where there's two mufflers. There's one for each pipe that goes to the back. There are two separate pipes that go from the engine all the way to the back of the car. And basically what that is gonna do is make the car sound a little bit deeper, a little bit louder, a little bit more of a growl to it. And it sounds good right now, but it's gonna sound a lot better. Not a full straight pipe from the engine all the way back. That's not what it is. It's just what it sounds like, a mid muffler delete. So it's gonna sound a little bit better, but it's not gonna be a full blown straight pipe. That's just gonna sound ridiculous. So we're gonna get over there, we're gonna get this done, and then when we get back, there's a few other chores that we gotta keep up on and a few other things we gotta show you around the barn. That's so much fun. We are back. We did drop off the Hellcats to get the mid muffler delete done, but check this out. New LNP wireless Bluetooth headphones, and these things actually sound really good. I'm not gonna say like bows or beats, but let's just say I compared the two and I'm like, these things sound really good. So anyways guys, here's the truck. Do not forget that you can enter to win this truck. And by the way, 10X entries are back. So if you wanna get your 10X entries, get them while you can because they end in seven days. So, I gotta get these animals fed. Kinda windy out there, but we do have new headphones. We're actually in the development process of releasing these. They might be up by the time you see this video, so go check out the store, see if they're available. If they are, just type in headphones in the search bar or see them under the new product listing, stuff like that. But they're actually pretty nice, they're pretty usable, and they don't hurt your ears. They've got all your basic buttons, your forward, reverse, your pause, your play, all that stuff. Like I said, they're Bluetooth, or you can hook up an aux cord. You can use them for that as well. If that's what you prefer, that's up to you. They might be on the store. If not, they will be very soon. On top of that, we also have added a ton of new products to the store, and there's new stuff going up every single day now. If you find something you like, awesome. You can place your orders on the store, and on top of that, your orders place gets you entered towards winning a truck plus $5,000 cash right now. And also, guys, another thing that I wanted to show you is the progress that we got on the shop ceiling here. So we did finally finish the row from this light all the way over to the end there and it turned out really good. So the bracing that we did in like the framing and all that stuff, it actually is working very, very well. Of course, not everything's lined up, you know, perfectly with each other because we have to offset the boards a little bit. That way we can fasten them properly and securely. But everything is measured out and spaced out evenly. Everything looks good. It's strong. I can swing around on these things and, uh, they don't sway around or anything. I mean, it, it's nice and solid, it's good. So we're gonna be finishing off the rest of the ceiling here very soon to finally get it done front to back. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get front to back done because we're not hiring out a crew, brother and his friend, and we're doing it that way. You know, we're trying to do it ourselves because that's the way we want to do it. It's coming along looking good. Now you can actually get a feel for like what the ceiling is gonna look like from here over basically. It's gonna give it a really nice look and a real nice lighting in this space as well too. And then on top of that, obviously, we're gonna run LED lights in here and all that stuff so we can actually have really good high quality lighting in here and high quality heating in the barn to make it more effective, especially in the winter, stuff like that. Um, it'll just be really nice. So what I'm gonna be working on now is getting some mowing and trimming done, moving the red fursia and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna sit you guys on time lapse and capture some video. Enjoy, stay tuned. We're gonna show you that mid muffler delete at the end of the video. Just got the whole lawn mowed. I did the whole backfield over there. I did the front yard, both sides, and the Hellcat. I just got a call. It's done with the muffler delete, so we're gonna go pick that up right now. Guys, we got the car back, and it sounds so stinking good. Oh my goodness. Listen to the snow. Oh my goodness. 
That is just a mid muffler delete. That's not a full blown straight pipe. That is just a mid muffler delete straight pipe and it sounds so stinking good. When I fired this thing up, it just crackled and popped, but it's not obnoxious in the car. It's still like a mean, loud, like growl when you start it up and when you rev it up and drive down the road, but like it's not obnoxious drone in the cab, if you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, it sounds good, runs good. We'll get you a little bit more video once we get back closer to the house. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a little exhaust note with the window cracked on each side. Nothing crazy, just like a small acceleration to maybe 40 going over towards that set of railroad tracks that way. But if you hit those tracks too fast, you're gonna be doing some Dukes of Hazard stuff because that thing's a, I mean, it's got a grade to it. There we go. Now, I only have the black key because of course I'm not gonna take this car to a dealer or exhaust shop or something and give them a 707 horsepower key. So I, uh, I gave them the 500 horse key and they came out, they were all excited. And they were basically wanting me to start the car up, you know, rev it up, listen to it, stuff like that. They're like, man, we're not allowed to do anything other than start it up to pull it in and pull it out of the shop. They're like, we wanna hear this thing start up and rev it up a couple times. I'm like, oh, well, first off, I respect and appreciate you waiting until I get there instead of helping yourself to revving up a car because that's no fun. Even if you're not damaging anything, it's just not a cool thing to do. So yeah, awesome little shop. It's Fair Muffler on uh, Coliseum here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Super cool little shop if I ever need anything done in terms of cars or gas stuff. I never take any diesel stuff there, but they're like, yeah, we'll do it. As long as it's just little stuff like muffler deletes and stuff, not like full blown cats and emissions crap taken off, you know, nothing like that. But um, great little shop, easy to work with. They do work pretty quick, fairly easy. This car was gone for maybe two hours and it was done. And that was with no appointment. That was just a walk in. Here we go. Oh my goodness, wow. I've never been a car guy. In fact, I was like, if I had to choose between a Lambo and a truck, I'm a truck guy. Like, I want a freaking Cummins diesel stick. I mean, that, that's all I want. Like, trucks are life, screw cars. Like, I don't really care, but I've always kind of wanted one just because I'm like, you know what, maybe there's more to the automotive world than trucks, you know, that I could enjoy. And I gotta tell you, whole different level of respect and enjoyment for cars. And if you have not gotten this experience, that's probably why you don't like cars yet, because you probably don't realize just how freaking fun they are. This is just such a blast. Here's mama. You're so I just got like the car you. back to the house, and I had the black key. I don't know if it's gonna sound different with the red key or not, but what we're gonna do is start the car up for you guys with the red key. It's so windy out here, guys. It's been like a windstorm the last couple days. You ready? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? We have 80 year old neighbors sometimes. Yeah, so they probably can't hear it as it is. Right? Right? Yeah. Besides, they can just turn the hearing aids down. Yeah, our neighbors are going to hate us. <laughs> so, as you can hear, this thing's freaking or can loud. They hear uh, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can hear me, but it's really windy. But this thing f sounds so freaking amazing right now. What would you rate it one to ten, Reagan? And ten being like it's loud but really good, or one being like it's loud and just freaking obnoxious and doesn't sound good. Ten. A ten, so it sounds I like really loud good. Oh yeah, vehicles. that's good. That's true. <laughs> Babe, you are the Mrs. Loud and Proud. You know that. Right? Yeah, but dude, that's my Cadillac. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but. She wants us to straight pipe the Cadillac, or at least do a muffler delete on the Cadillac. What do you guys say? I say we pop the hood real quick and we'll show them what's under the hood and then we can get their votes on whether or not they think we should uh, do a muffler delete on the Cadillac. So the Cadillac has a 6.2 liter V8. A lot of plastic. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of plastic on it, but. See, it is a truck. <laughs> this thing is freaking diesel awesome engine. i think it's 400 and either 455 465 or 475 i think it's a 450 or four i don't know it's it's mid 400s it makes a good amount of power but right now obviously it just sounds like a uh quiet suv 
I mean, it just sounds like a quiet well, SUV. because most businessmen don't want something loud. Yeah, and like this is like a vehicle that you buy if like you're a business owner that travels a lot, a family that just likes super expensive cars, I guess, um, and likes to pay a ton for services, uh, like oil changes and stuff like that. That's just unnecessary. This is what you buy if you want to just waste money, kind of. I didn't buy it right now. No, you're right. I bought it pre-owned. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a muffler delete on this as well, or no? Obviously, it's not going to sound like a Hellcat, but should we do a muffler delete? <laughs> or would that be obnoxious and stupid on an SUV like this? Let us know down in the comment section below. Now on top of getting my wife's reaction to how the car sounds, we're gonna get their reaction. He's been in the car before. He is not. Have you ever been in a 700 horsepower plus car? No. Okay, well this is be perfect. We're gonna go down the road and it has not rained now for over 24 hours. Roads are pretty darn dry and uh, we're not gonna go crazy, but we are gonna take it down the road and back and get the reaction. You guys are about to feel what fun feels like. Send it, boss. Did you feel spinning the whole time? <laughs> it never gets old, bro. So we're gonna have to like slowly lay into it because it's it spins too much. <laughs> uh, you the, guys. the front end lifts straight up. I know. I know, it's crazy. The Dodge Demon is 840 horse, and it does wheelies. <laughs> the speedometer can't even keep up. No. <laughs> like, it just goes, like, from 60 to 70. It, like, it doesn't get any of the numbers in between. It's so funny. We went through a quarter tank already? <laughs> yeah, no, but, like, in all seriousness, when you drive the car like this, it just burns through fuel so fast. Oh yeah. Oh, so fast. But I mean, then, but then it does again, in any vehicle when you floor it. But like, it's just so crazy. But then again, what's the point in having a Hellcat if you can't floor it? Yeah. What's the point in driving a sports car unless you're gonna just have fun with it? You drive like a sports car. Listen, if you're trying to be practical and save money on MPGs, don't get this. This is all about SPG <laughs> smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon. Not miles. There you go. We're gonna try to do a zero to sixty because it doesn't. It doesn't really grab the ground very well. <laughs> How fun <laughs> is that, bro? First time. What's your thoughts? If I have money, I'd buy one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You just jump in, you feel like Tony Stewart or Jeff Gordon. <laughs> so that was a ton of fun. Do you guys agree? Absolutely. A lot of fun. So if you had the opportunity to enter to win this car and actually buy one of the t-shirts that you're designing right now, they have never seen any of the merch that you're designing right now. It's a whole new website, everything. Him and my brother are working on designing all the merch and all the clothing for the new website and all that stuff. It's gonna be epic. You could enter to win this car. It's coming very soon. But anyway, so here's the fourth gen. This truck is actually up for grabs right now, like I mentioned in the video already. This truck also sounds really, really good. Not quite as fun as a Hellcat, but as long as you don't drive in a Hellcat to ruin your experience, this thing will be a blast. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Do not forget to enter to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. For the next week only, every $5 is 10 entries to win, and then that deal will end again. So thank you guys so much. Links are in the description below. Follow LNP underscore speed if you want to have a chance to enter to win this car, because that will be the first place to find out when that giveaway goes live, for all the information and details on that car and that giveaway. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.